No. No. No, impossible. Impossible. I'm gonna keep this to myself, but this is a dupe for something. No joke. Almost 100%. I was on feelingsexy.com, which is where I purchased some of my perfumes, and they were advertising this perfume, and this is how it was brought to my attention. I was like, okay, what is, I love these bottles. What is this? It was really affordable. I'm talking like 140 for each bottle. But from what I've seen, the pictures and everything, it just looks really amazing. I can't wait to unbox the three perfumes with you and kind of, you know, talk about my first impression and what reviews are out there about it and yeah, and try it out for ourselves. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to guess that this one's going to be black. Well, I've seen the pictures, but you know, presentation is kind of giving us a hint of what the bottle is going to look like. So, so far so good. I'm liking the black and the silver. <gasps> okay. all right this is like a soft matte finish and it has all these like silver patterns anyway I'm liking the box so far it's an auto parfum and it opens like this what does it look like <laughs> you guys get to see it before me oh wow it's even better looking than I thought oh my goodness this is worthy of a queen of a princess like this decoration is beautiful like i hope on camera it doesn't look like cheap silver it does it is not and it's heavy and it's beautiful okay if you don't buy it for anything else it's already getting a plus for packaging okay because we're gonna look at packaging quality we're gonna look at um, ingredient quality we're gonna look at the smell the the sillage you know the intensity and all of those great things so that's what I'm judging but presentation like wow so it has these blue um, sapphire looking stones oh I love this I can't believe this oh they need to make more in the collection just for the bottles it's not a magnetic cap it's yeah you just kind of have to push it down which is fine it's not heavy but it has a weight to it it's giving me oud bouquet but very like much softer and sweeter it's supposed to be a woody spicy which it is just from smelling it um, before it is a new fragrance actually it was launched in 2021 uh, which I already knew um, top notes of the oriental notes is vanilla middle notes saffron and patchouli base notes kayak wood agar wood and musk yeah it's meant to be a woody musky sweet scent yes I'm getting that vanilla right away. So I'm going to spray this on myself. I hope you can see the automizer, how it works. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to keep this to myself, but this is a dupe for something. No joke almost a hundred percent like let's go with 95 percent a dupe i have to um research and see if the prices are different i feel like oud saffron is a dupe for something and you guys are gonna be so proud of me for saying this for discovering this so yes it's a love like it is a love and that initial spray i didn't spray too much you guys saw that but it almost fills the room like it's oud wood sweet that vanilla is definitely there i feel like there's some ingredients they didn't tell us about in there but when i bring the dupe i will 
explain the notes but this is beautiful if you like oudy scents oud and sweetness you can blind buy this it's beautiful oh and it's creamy it's good thank you feeling sexy i'm not sponsored by the way but you know i just give credit where credit's due oh and this presentation let's move on to the next perfume this is orientica's impression of oud saffron it says as beautiful and seductive as the night sky and as refreshing as the first rays of dawn Ugh messages um oud saffron is a perfect combination of night and day fragrance for all seasons with notes ranging from vanilla to saffron to patchouli and musk among others among others but when they were listing the ingredients they didn't tell us that there are other ingredients they didn't list but but your girl knew your girl knew was like mm, that can't be all of it so they say that here and the versatility of this perfume goes from gracious to ferocious it's very true very true yeah it goes from varying cheerful smiles mischievous stares day person night owl you know it it bolsters confidence enough to keep you at the top of your game around the clock yes i like that okay so yeah you can definitely do day or night if you like more intense scents during the day and you don't mind that you can wear this during the day but for most people i find that this will probably be like a nighttime type of scent but i guess arabian people this is their vibe oud wood type of scents and sweet scents also for the women this is like an arabian's typical signature scent for women type of thing but better i'm picturing sexy vibes at night like classy sexy vibes i'm talking velvet or suede gown you know very polished lady you know very classy you know just like mm, wealthy very luxurious they did it okay you know what let's not let's not spend too long on saffron let's move on from old saffron let's let's move on to the next one because if it's this good I have great expectations for the next one, okay? Hmm. Our next scent is called Royal Amber. It's from Orientica. This is also part of the luxury collection. This is the second fragrance I am unboxing and reviewing today, right now. Let's open it. Okay, so Royal Amber, unlike Oud Saffron, this one comes in a gold looking box, but the design is very similar it's the same actually and the writing here is in red the writing on the oud saffron was silver and this is gold and red they're all out of parfum so let's see that's how you open it that's it inside you guys get to see it before me okay now i can have a look oh okay so it's red interior oh my goodness isn't this like royalty this is like my crown gold type of vibe the jewel embellishment it's like a mixture of gold and rose gold because it's not like purely rose gold pink kind of look no it's a bit it's a bit goldish as well the jewels are red and it says orientica and royal amber in the middle and i just love this royal amber is said to be an amber vanilla fragrance for women and men it is also new part of the 2021 collection that they just launched so top notes are bergamot and green notes middle notes amber melon pineapple sweet notes um, base notes are woody notes mask and vanilla it's sounding like there's some green and citrus and like some fresh vibes in there um, and then you get a bit of creaminess i'm sure from the vanilla there's ember mask um sweet woody notes as well that they're they're telling us that we should expect i'm gonna smell the perfume and then i'm gonna read what they intended it to be presentation a1 a plus you know gold star whatever you want to go with 
smiley face. Cap is the same, it's on there tightly. Let's try it. Okay, pineapple, mm, right away. Ember. My bottle is not working. Like, I tried to take this off and kind of, no, it's just not working. It seems like the spray part is pushed down. I tried to, I did take that thing off, but I don't know how to fix it. If anybody knows how to fix it, let me know. But I need to reach out to Feeling Sexy and let them know that this is not working. And now I've stopped like kind of smelling the perfume. Just a little bit. It's oody and sweet, but like I can't really get it to the maximum, you know? So this is what they write about Royal Amber. No place is out of place. No remark is out of context. Your fragrance announces your arrival. Akin to the reputation that precedes you. Are they like talking about me? Because how do they know me so well? Okay. Walk into a room full of turning heads and approving nods every single time. Royal Ember breaks the ice for you whether you try or not. This alluring fragrance opening with bergamot, ember, melon, and pineapple that eventually pass the baton on to vanilla and musk, wrapped in a woody overtone, truly complements your pizzazz to make every stage your own. Like, okay, so I'm so so disappointed i wasn't able to try it today but i will try and get another bottle or figure it out and come back and talk about royal ember we're gonna move on to the next and last scent of the trio from this luxury collection by orientica this is ember rouge Compared to the other boxes, you know, Oud Saffron came in a black box, Royal Ember came in a gold box, now Ember Rouge comes in a red box, and it's so lovely. So, presentation A1, of course, and here it is. Is it good? Is it nice? Okay. Oh, okay! Okay! Look. It still has that gold, rose gold accent type of situation here. This gold accenting is definitely rose gold, like definitely rose gold. And it's got red jewels all over it. That's it. And yeah, lovely. There are chords in here are supposed to be ember, warm, spicy, um, animalic leather tobacco a woody spicy type of vibe this is a woody spicy fragrance for women and men um it is new part of the 2021 collection top notes are saffron and jasmine middle notes ember wood ember gris base notes are cedar and fir raisin okay so that sounds lovely let's smell it and then read what they intended the scent to be I'm really loving their description so far. Rose gold lid. It's kind of heavy, but not. <laughs> and I mean, I can't say I really smell much right now. So let's try it. Make sure there's nothing there. Hopefully. I was nervous for a second there. <laughs> no. No, no, impossible, impossible. How does this smell like Baccarat Rouge extract? But the dry down has something kind of like minty, but not. Oh, that's weird. No. No, 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 it's it's that animalic because I was trying to figure out like mint, like no, 
but is it the body oil I have on? Here's the body oil I have on, you guys. This is why I like to wear plain moisturizer or plain body oils so that they don't counter interact with my perfumes when I'm trying them on, but I must have forgotten. But listen, I think that dry down, that animalic leather dry down is coming out, but that initial spray spilled like baccarat. That is so not funny. This is what Orientica says about this perfume. Like a red bridal veil adorned with golden embroidery, lush in the scent of celebration, Amber Rouge calls out to those in search of completeness. Those who want to take love in the air and turn it into weeds of passion and obsession. The compelling fragrances of jasmine and orange ignite the first spark and with saffron and praline at its thumbing heart, oak moss, amber and seaweed. <laughs> seaweed! My nose is amazing. Did I not say something kind of minty? Like, did I not say that? Okay, ember and seaweed are the distinct aromas that stay with you long after the tempestuous, tempestuous moments have left you gasping for more. Yes, yes, that minty thing I said in the dry down, I was not imagining things. It's the seaweed, but I'm making it sound bad, but it's not. It's not really that seaweedy. I don't know how I feel right now. I feel betrayed because how can it smell so similar to Baccarat? Like that initial spray was confusing, okay? How could they do this to me? The dry down though is nothing like Baccarat, but you know, it fooled me for a second there huge disappointment and I don't know who to blame for this is it Orientica or is it feeling sexy like that I need to know who to come for because I was so excited sitting here ready to film you know and with the impression of oud saffron the first fragrance I just showed you guys that just opened the door to another whole world of Orientica for me so now I have to get into their perfumes because I loved them all. Well, the ones I tried. Now, I want to say my favorite is Oud Saffron. I want to say that. But I feel like I really need to give Amber Rouge a good chance, like wear it more. I feel like it could also compete with Oud Saffron, you know what I mean? I felt like Royal Amber was gonna be my perfect everyday scent, especially in this season. Like the in-between spring, in-between winter, in-between kind of situation going on right here. And I was so excited about that pineapple, that melon, that ember, that bergamot kind of vibe. But I can't tell you anything because I, I couldn't even try it, you know? Oud Saffron, for me, I think, yes, it can definitely be somebody's signature scent, but this is gonna be my special occasion type of scent. Like when I'm trying to get noticed, night out or cool weather type of situation. But I can definitely wear it in the heat, but I probably won't. I I don't know, don't, don't hold it onto me, but that's, that's just how I'm feeling right now, today, in this moment. We don't know in the next hour how I'll feel. Ember Rouge is giving me sexy time, casual. I feel like they really thought out the three perfumes in their collection. One for like daytime, clean, fresh, and the other is for like sexy, hmm, you know, and then the other ones for like more dressy. I think all three are necessary already. I feel that way, but you guys, I'm mourning Royal Amber. Yes, I would recommend these. I am going to wear them more. I'm gonna try them more, but I'd say they're blind buy worthy actually also because the price is very very reasonable of course it's like 140 each australian dollars which is a lot less than other luxury brands you know 
So I need to see what else they have at Orientica. Never mind Royal Ember over there. Okay, she's just flexing right now, but I'll sort that situation out and come back. But if you, on the other hand, know how to fix the spray little situation there, let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. It'll save me the hassle of contacting Feeling Sexy and contacting Orientica, like, what's going on you know so you guys saw me unbox that that was the first time of me opening it so i i never tempered with the bottle before and i'd hate for this to happen to anybody else because you know i was super excited and it's my money it's my coin so we don't play with it we don't play with that anywho hope you subscribe hope you like the video if you enjoyed it and let's chat in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one Bye.